Well, hello, happy Saturday. I was doing some house cleaning and thought I would share with all of you what I'm up to. Uh, so I'm running the Hoover Supremacy canister tonight, which I'll show you more about in just a moment. I already started to do this. You can see a couple grooming lines. Um, I may hit it again during the video. We'll see what happens with time and all that type of thing. Um, here is my vacuum cleaner of choice tonight. This is a Hoover Supremacy canister. Now, the ironic thing is it actually does not say Hoover on it. Um, this machine is part of the Supremacy series. There was approximately, I think it was three or four canister units and then two uprights. Um, basically, sort of just a little variety at the time that Hoover was manufacturing these, which was March for 1991 for this particular machine. Um, this model number is S3625. And essentially, if you think about the Hoover Turbo Power series, which came later, Hoover Turbo Power was an all black canister vacuum, or all black vacuum cleaner um, with a variety of gold, white, and blue fonts. They all came with a two year warranty and they were sold at either higher echelon department stores or also vacuum authorized service centers. Uh, the Supremacy is similar except for that I believe it was exclusive to vacuum shops and authorized Hoover, um, actual Hoover authorized dealers, like the dealer stores. If you think of an Oryx store, that's what Hoover had back in the 90s and the 80s and probably the 70s too. Um, so this is essentially a Hoover Dimension 1000, but it's in the Supremacy color, and it only says Hoover on the actual label itself, if I can get that to focus. It only says Hoover in the actual label. Everywhere else, hose handle, power head, nothing else really actually says Hoover on it. Um, this is the fully featured top of the line one. It's got the main and auto for your suction adjustment indicator for what power level you're at, your check bag indicator, quarter wind, main on off switch. This is where the tools would be. I only have one in here right now. I'm still working on that. Um, right now I have a Kenmore Q bag installed and I've got my own pre-motor filter, which I got the idea from another collector. Um, it's actually, uh, it's called muslin cloth. It's three layers of muslin cloth, which is pretty dense stuff. It's thin, but dense. Um, from Joanne Fabric. If you've never put a Kenmore Q bag in a Hoover Dimension 1000, this is what I do. Um, you basically take a Hoover Dimension 1000 M card, the cardboard that would go in the M bag, and I hot glue gun it onto the collar of a Kenmore Q bag. Now, the diameter for the Hoover is wider than that of the Kenmore. So I have to trim the Kenmore one and then hot glue this one on top. And also the Kenmores have that tab. Um, it's like a little pull tab. There's actually a small little cutout hole. It looks like a little horseshoe almost at the top of that. I cut that off. And you cut that off so that your bag holder here will actually hold it in place. Otherwise, these bags actually work very nice in here as far as filling up the actual um, compartment and its HEPA. And if you've never tried a HEPA bag in a canister or hard bag upright, um, you should definitely try it because I basically don't have to clean bag compartments anymore. Now, I can't speak for this one because I haven't had this one very long, but I can speak for my other canisters and uprights that use them. Um, yeah, you can see the 1020 in the other room. Um, I don't have to clean bag compartments anymore. <laughs> There's not really any way to say that. <laughs> um, the power head is a Quadruflex Powermatic, but on the Supremacy it says Deluxe Powermatic. It is still a headlight. It is still carpet pair for a selector. Um, the original pedal for this would have been black. This is a dark blue navy replacement. Um, but it is the same Hoover Quadruflex brush roll. It has the soft green bristles, 
dual side edge cleaning, the metal end caps, and similar to the Eureka VG3, Hoover used these uh, plastic stiffeners, which is almost like a beater bar type of thing, but what it does is it sort of pushes, helps push the bristle through the carpet as it's um, directing the dirt into the center duct, which is right in the middle. So, what I'll do is I will turn this puppy on for you. Oh, I unplugged it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll just plug it in. Um, let me see if I can get this to work again. Okay. Okay, I can scooch into view of that. Maybe with me. Cool, I think that works. Okay. Hi. Right. So I'm gonna turn it on. Um, right now it's at roughly half.
guy right in my hallway just died. Um, So sorry, I did not realize I was at two and a half minutes. Um, I think you get the idea. It's nice, cleaner. Anyway, have a good one.